Hi all out there and welcome to another unscripted flick to picks review. And in case you haven't read the title, today's review is for my mystery review is Back to the Future. This is one of the best movie trilogies ever made in my opinion. You know, whereas you have, you know, some trilogies or some sagas that you know where it doesn't quite go so well. I think this is one of the most perfect trilogies ever made. And the reason why I'm doing this review today is to celebrate the release of the game, which just got released for the PS3 and the Wii in, here in the UK, which is a continuation on from the third one. So technically, it's the fourth movie, but in a game, and it's brilliant, I have to say. Anyway, on to the review. Marty McFly, played by Ma Michael J. Fox, is a teenage kid living in Hill Valley who has a real loser dad and an alcoholic mom with the weirdest brother and sister I think everyone has ever seen in movie history. And their biggest problem? The most annoying prat you'll ever encounter, Biff Tannen, who's played by Thomas F. Wilson. However, the tables begin to turn when his best friend slash scientist, Dr. Emmett Brown, played by Christopher Lloyd, asks Marty to join him in a big mall parking lot where he reveals his biggest invention. A time machine made out of a DeLorean car. At this moment, there has never been such an epic moment in cinema history. Besides the moment where, spoiler alert, Darth Vader reveals he is Luke Skywalker's father in The Empire Strikes Back. Shortly after we see Einstein, who is Doc Brown's dog, vanish into thin air, leaving a pair of fire trails behind, at which moment Marty begins panicking that the Doc reveals that he actually sent him into the future. But sadly their levity is short-lived when a group of Libyan terrorists track down and kill the Doc, leaving Marty to jump in the DeLorean while trying to outrun them accidentally travels back to the year 1955. While there he manages to bump into his parents, literally in the case of his dad, and begins putting his own existence in jeopardy, especially when his mom starts getting the hots for him. With his whole family fading away, before he knows it, he has to meet with the Doc's 1955 counterpart, get his parents back together, avoid Biff Tannen's younger self and his, cro and his cronies to get them off his back, and get back to the future to prevent the Doc's own death. When he gets home and sees the changes he did in fact make while in 1955, turning his dad into a really cool novelist, his mom into a sweet, actual, caring woman, his brother into an astute businessman, as well as his sister into an astute businesswoman. But the best part is when he turns Biff into a real kiss-ass after George whacking him one in 1955. The ending is perfect and really sets everything up nicely for Back to the Future 2. And hopefully that's a review that will be coming if people want me to do it. If you just enjoyed this review, comment below and let me know and tell me if you want to see parts 2 and 3. And as a final verdict for this movie, there's no other verdict I can give it except a full 10 out of 10. It's one of the best comedies made from the 80s, and it's probably one of the best time travel movies ever made, next to, of course, Bill and Ted. Anyway, guys, that's it from me for this week, and I shall see you guys next Sunday for a subscriber request, hopefully. If not, I shall bring you guys back to the future, too. See you guys soon, and take care, and all the best, and be sure to like, favourite, and subscribe, and keep those comments coming. See you later.